Hi guys, welcome to the third lesson. In this lesson we'll be looking at how to create and manage containers. Now containers is the sketch equivalent of a symbol. They are reusable elements that you can drag onto the canvas. And much like symbols, you can open your container, make changes and they'll be reflected across your entire prototype. So this comes in handy when you have the same element appear in multiple uh, locations across your entire prototype. So let me show you how to do that. So let's convert something on our canvas that we're going to be reusing more than once into a container. So you can probably imagine that we'll be using the price more than once. We're using it on the products listing page here and we're using it on our product detail page here. So anything can be a container. It can be a bit of text. It can be a buy now button. It could be the image itself, right? So anything can be a container that we're reusing more than once. But we'll start off first with the price. So let's highlight the price, right click it and convert to container. Not scrollable container, we'll cover that in a second. We'll convert it to a container. Okay, cool. So when we double click inside this element now, we'll be taken off to a separate canvas basically. Very, very similar to how this works on, uh, on Sketch. You can also see that we're in our containers uh, panel up here on the left hand side. Before we change anything however, let's go back to our screens. We'll copy this container over to our product detail page. Like so. Place that on the left hand side. Okie dokie. Let's go back to the containers panel up here on the left hand side. Double click inside our container and change the price to $800. Save that in Command S, Control S, go back to our screens, and hey presto, our container has updated the price on both our product listing page and the product detail page. Okay, that concept is pretty simple. Okay, so we could do that with anything else on the canvas the image itself, uh, the name of the bike, you know, the buy now button. You know, you can, you can imagine just how, how many times we could use this. Next, however, we'll be looking at what Proto.io call scrollable containers. Now, scrollable containers are handy when you have content that is larger than the actual screen area itself. So instead of making the artboard larger like you normally would in Sketch, you would add a scrollable container in Proto.io. So let's look at how we might do that. Let's go back to our product listing page here and let's zoom out like so. Okay, let's move these elements a little bit further down the canvas. Let's group them. Name that content, align horizontally and vertically as well. Okay, so that's sitting nicely in the middle of the canvas. Now what we want to do is add a white rectangle beneath the canvas like so. And we want to make this the exact same size as the canvas above it. So we want to make that 375 by 667. 375 by 667. Let's make that white. Done. And then what we want to do here is add our second product. So we can copy this, we can reuse some of the elements here and then align that horizontally and vertically to this canvas beneath it. What we want to do however is change this image to our second bike, select asset and we want to change the name and the price. Okay, so let's change the name to Giant X200. Okay, and then we want to, we don't want to use the same container here as what we're using on the previous product. So we can simply remove that container. And we can add another bit of text for the price. So what we could do is say this is 1,200. Let's say that's 25 that orange, we can make this price a container for this product, just in case we need to use it elsewhere. So let's just change that on the layers panel to 
price. Make sure that's horizontally aligned. Okay, cool. Let's make sure that all of these elements are grouped together. And call this second product. We then want to make sure that everything in the first canvas is grouped. Uh, let's just call this first product. Shift that to the top, like so. Okay, now what we want to do is group both of these canvases together and call them bikes. Now what we want to do is right click this and convert to scrollable container. And the first thing that you'll see is that our second product disappears from beneath this canvas, but that's okay. Once you do that, you'll see some new options appear in the inspector panel on the right hand side over here. And what we need to make sure is that the scroll is set to vertical in the inspector panel. Which it is here, scroll vertically. We also want to make sure that this first checkbox is ticked as well. Treat scroll container as snap carousel. And you'll see just how that interaction works in a moment. Okay, now let's preview this in the browser to see where we're at. Let's command S and save this and preview it. Okay, cool, so we've got our first product here. If we scroll down, we've got our second product. And as you can see, I don't have to scroll very much at all for it to snap to the next product. And that's exactly what this checkbox does here, this um, treat scroll container as a snap carousel. So that's a native iOS behavior, and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So if I just scroll a little bit, it will snap directly to the next product, and it looks, it looks just like the real thing. So we've covered containers and scrollable containers in this lesson. The next and final lesson will be looking at how to manage container and interaction states.